Hello Elucidat users and welcome to this level 2 video on Layout Designer. In this video I'm going to show you how you can edit an existing page using Layout Designer. So I'm going to open up my project in Elucidat and here I have a project where I've added an out-of-the-box page type. So this is Elucidat's uh, presentation page type and it's an image left page type. But what I've decided to do is I want to adjust this for my module introduction. I want to actually create a layout that has video and text instead in a two column layout like shown here. So to do that adjustment, I can come up to this layout designer button and that's available in any page in your project. And you can go into there to edit the structure of the page. So once I'm in the structure view, you can see my page shows as it was with the content, image and text, but I've got all these orange add here bars where I can actually add additional elements to the page. So if, for example, I wanted to add a video here instead of an image, I can firstly delete my image using this delete control and then select the add here button within the two column layout to insert a video. And within Layout Designer, you can see there's a whole range of elements that you can add to the page. And these are very similar to our out-of-the-box page types. You'll find within interactions, for example, a lot of the common um, interactions you're familiar with, with within our page types. And there's lots of different elements available. So it's worth having a look around and finding out what's in there. I'm going to go to Media and Imagery. And in here, I have things like audio players, video players and images and I'm going to insert a video player. So simply selecting an element will add it to the page and you can there see I've got a video player and my text box that when I go back into author mode I can start adding my content to. If I wanted to adjust this layout further I can do things like move elements around so I could drag this text box over and drop it in this column for example and swap the video over to the right so you can move things within Layout Designer really quickly. You can obviously delete things as well. And you can also duplicate elements. So if I duplicated this whole two column layout, I would have a repeated text and video layout below. So it's quite quick for reproducing elements further down the page. I'm going to delete that now because I don't need to make that edit. I just wanted to show you one other feature of Layout Designer, which is the variations. Each element in Layout Designer has this little spanner icon on it. And you can click on that and see the variations available on that element. So this is a video player. I can control whether the video controls display or not in author mode and preview. If I click on my column variations option, you can see I've got a range of things that I can control about this columns. I can control the padding to give a bit more space around each element and I can control the layout so I could make my video much bigger than my text to give the video more space on the page. And These uh, changes are really quick to make and allow you to simply adjust the layout using this feature. I can also control at which point my uh, columns stack so when we go down to smaller devices which point the text appears above the video and also the space between the elements. Variations are available on nearly every element in Layout Designer and you get different variations per element. So it's something you'll probably become familiar with over time as you start exploring the different elements in Layout Designer. Once I'm happy with my page, I can simply select Save up here and I will see a list of different save options available in Layout Designer. And this is where you can really see the power available within the Layout Designer feature. So I can choose at this point how I'd like to save my page, whether I'd like to save just this page in my current project, or if I'd like to save for all of the image left page types. So that would be making a change across every image left page type, either in my project or even wider across all projects using the base theme. So the impact of that is that the image left page type will change fundamentally wherever it's used in the project or wherever it's used across any projects in your account. So you have to be quite careful when making these changes and I would often suggest only saving for your project and your 
your page and your project, um, unless you know that you want to make a wider change and maybe you've agreed with your team that there's a change you want to make. You can also make yourself new custom page types and that means you would save this new uh, text and video layout as an available page type in Elucidat's page type library. And when you do this, you can choose to give it a name and in which folder of page types it will belong. And this is obviously an account wide change. You're making a page type that will be available either just for your project or across all projects using the theme. So if I selected these two options, I would then add that as a page type that would be available for everyone in every project using the theme. Which could be useful if in your team you identify a page type that's missing from our out of the box library and you find that you're having to recreate a lot of times using Layout Designer. But it's worth bearing in mind that these page types can't be edited or deleted once they're created. So um, just you can't change the naming um, or delete them. So really, we would recommend, unless you know you want to save something more widely, saving just for this project and this page only. So I'm going to save that. And at that point, I'll be back in author mode where I can start editing my text and upload a video here. So that's how you can edit an out of the box page type in Elucidat. So we have a few top tips for using Layout Designer. Firstly, explore the different layout elements available within Layout Designer. So having a look at what options are available when you select one of the orange add here bars and what that allows you to do with your layouts. Secondly, use variations to adjust how your elements display. So where we adjusted the width of the columns, for example, you can do a lot of different things in Layout Designer using that variations feature. And thirdly, just be really careful when you're saving your layout and make sure the correct settings are selected. So consider whether you want it to be applied across a page only or project only or even wider in your account. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we'll talk about how to create a page from scratch using Layout Designer.